On August 29th, Taylor Swift announced her 10th studio album to release on October 21st, 2022 through Instagram. Throughout the following months, she released different CD and vinyl versions on her website. On October 20th, 2022, Taylor Nation, Taylor Swift's merchandise and media team, posted a picture of Taylor Swift's Midnight Manifest. On November 1st, Taylor Swift announced her sixth stadium tour, the Eras Tour. There will be 52 U.S. shows starting in Glendale, Arizona on March 17th of next year. Once the tour was announced, fans were able to sign up for pre-sale starting November 15th. Booster codes and private pre-sale were sent out to the most loyal fans based on the amount of merchandise purchased through the Taylor Swift website. All was well until 10 a.m. Eastern Time when the Ticketmaster website encountered some unprecedented amount of traffic on the website. Fans experienced error codes, canceled orders, and website crashes after waiting for in queues for hours for tickets. The general sale was canceled on November 18th and stopping any more tickets from being purchased. We now turn the time over to Heidi to hear what the people's opinion is on this incident. Thanks, Lock. I'm here reporting for HML in the halls with Jerica, with Allison, with Gabe. Have you heard about the recent debacle with Taylor Swift and Ticketmaster? Yes. Yes. I've heard about it. Didn't she try and sell tickets, but a bunch of bots bought them and started selling them for more? That's correct. What's your opinion on Taylor Swift? She's cool, I guess. She's a decent artist. I think overall Taylor Swift is a pretty good artist, um, but I do think she should, could have handled the ticket sales better. Do you think she is solely responsible for the disaster? No. Probably not. I don't think it's completely her fault. I think that sometimes with bots, you can't really control what they do. But I feel like going through a dedicated ticket sales person would have been a better option. Thank you for your hands. Back to you. Thanks, Heidi. Although Taylor Swift's statement is sympathetic to the fans' struggle, she is first and foremost a capitalist businesswoman. Her choice to stay opted in to dynamic pricing has added to the issue, and she has not yet made a statement about her choice to not publicize ticket prices beforehand.